Welcome to the Football Friends Podcast. My name is Gage. I'm joined here today by Patty. Thank you for and that kind welcome. Yes, happy 30th episode. F- wow. Yeah, yeah. What a what a time to be alive. Mm. Yeah, uh, unfortunately no Ash again this week. He is uh, stuck in bondage of some kind. He's so still we'll... between two, probably two hanging pigs. He's just like a penguin in bondage, you know. <laughs> Much less like a penguin. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, let's kick it off. We have just seen the shutting of the transfer window, the January, the fabled January summer transfer. That's what it sounds like when it shuts. Winter, winter transfer. You can call it the winter transfer window. Yeah. You can call it the January. Tra- I like to call it January because because it uh, confuses us. Because we <laughs> we live in New Zealand. It's because it's like thirty degrees right now. Yeah, I, I'm dead. I bet. And so we have had, to be fair, when we were saying just like a week ago that uh, this transfer window doesn't let much pretty, happen. Pretty quiet. It, it has been a hell of a week. The once last, I, once the last, I, oh yeah, the last two days, sort of. Once I wrote them all down, it, I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so been, it's been a great window. Decent you know? players moving to some other places. Yeah. So I suppose I'll start with, I'll just start with the order I have written this down. So yeah, fair enough. First up, I have Juventus, okay. who have successfully signed Dennis Zachariah from Munchen Gladbach. Free transfer, effectively, yeah. Five mil. Okay, oh, yeah. compensation. Five, yeah. five mil. No, it's just, no, it is just a transfer fee. It's like a... Um, could, yeah. Yeah, he would have yeah. gone on a free... His contract was going to end. Uh, so, five mil, defensive midfielder, good signing. And then probably the probably the best signing of the window would be Vlahovic. Vlahovic, yeah. Out from... Um, Fiorentina. Under the nose of, of the Gunners. The, yeah, yeah. Transferred sort from the, the Viola <laughs> to the old lady. I love it. Look, <laughs> things in Italy are named better. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, and so... And then, in fact, yeah, Vlahovic joins his former teammate, Chiesa, at, at Juventus. Yeah, Federico Chiesa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Freddie Cheese. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's not cheese either. It's I think it's I think it's church. I think mean, Kiesa means church. Yeah, yeah. But sure. Freddie Cheese sounds. I like it. I'm, <laughs> I'm happy with that. Yeah. So good moves. I both both these are young guys. Uh, Vlahovic is a killer striker, at least for the last the season. Yeah, yeah, last season. It is only one season, but he seems to he he seems to have that just a good adi- like the right attitude, you know, and he has that kind of. Uh, what do you want to say? Like mysticism, not a mysticism, like a a presence, an about aura. Him. Yeah, yeah. That you just know that he's just gonna bang one on you. That's he's... <laughs> you he... know when you're playing against him, you think he might score a goal. It's like this yeah. this striker. He seems quite good. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's he he kind of reminds me of Ebra. He's a similar. Wow. He's a similar size. Uh, he's probably not quite as technical, but um, is he all of six four? He's he's a big guy, he's a big boy. God, uh, so hell of a finisher uh, will be great for Juventus. I mean, he, I, dude, he's taken Ronaldo's seven. I love that. Yeah, yeah. So he's he's there to score goals. That's for sure. He'll. I love it if he also took Ronaldo's celebration. Just you know instead of Jamie Vardying it instead yeah. of see whatever yes is in Serbian mm. yeah 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 so that probably will salvage a rather not good season for Juventus as far as Juventus are concerned they're having a stinker yeah, they're, yeah. I don't think they're even in the Champions League place mm. So um, I think this is that's a good show that they're they're up for it. They they need to get back there. Their reputation's on the line. They're willing to spend money to maintain that. Big money too. Was it what was it seventy five? I think seventy mil or so for yeah. Vlahovic and a lot of money. And and the thing is with Zachariah, even though it's five mil, the reason it's when it's five mil, that means the wage is probably way higher. So yes. So uh, they paid. They paid regardless. Yeah. Well, if you. If you go to a club like Juventus, and mm. you know you're at the end of a contract, unless you're a, a fucking nobody, you are on the wage. You know? Yeah, 
Zechariah is going to be getting getting dollar. Mm. And so, to, I mean, to replace Vlahovic, I saw that your Fiorentina signed this guy, um, Artur Cabral from yeah. FC Basel. Basel, yeah, that's I, right. I don't, know, I don't know too much about him. Uh, he's a Brazilian guy, striker. Uh, he, I, I know that he was having very, he's been having a very good time playing in the Swiss League or whatever it is. Yeah, but Basel's yeah. Swiss League. Yeah, so he's supposed to be the replacement, but that's interesting. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, don't well, know much about him, but he's been the Swiss League Vlahovic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it, it is interesting because well, Vlahovic and Chiesa both came from Fiorentina recently, and that's because Fiorentina is a uh, a good team at the moment. That yeah, they have a, they have more good players. This is just the, kind of the start. So what you're saying is. In two seasons, Juventus are going to have like five first team players that came from Fiorentina. Well, possibly. I, I was more trying to say that I think Fiorentina, Fiorentina will still do well, uh, even without Vlahovic. Yeah, I, I'm sure they will. Mm. Look, man, they're, they're... Well, they they adapted without um, Chiesa, who was a yeah. big player for them. So yeah, uh, they still have Frank Ribery. Still, still, they tra- still have Frank. I'm Ribery. pretty sure they still have Frank Ribery. No. Yeah, yeah, he's like 37. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 47. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> Looks every bit. Mm. Um, And they also, they also brought back, um, not brought back, sorry, they brought in um, Piontek. Yeah, Piontek Christoph, is... Christoph Piontek. Yeah. Um, if you seen it. You know, is when you get rid of one big striker, you may as well bring in, bring yeah. in two big ones to replace him. He seems, it's... He seems to have been around, you know, he, he, he's been to a few clubs over the past few years and just not quite well, had it. He was at M- Milan, and maybe there's just not enough. Yeah, he didn't didn't seem to do too badly. He got got a few goals, and but yeah, just not. Maybe mm. I don't know. Maybe the coach just doesn't too much height. Maybe Pre- Ebra doesn't like him. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, um, while we're on Italy, I suppose I will move on now to Inter, who have signed Robert Gosens. Yeah, again, another killer move. In terms of Italian clubs um, who hoover up the good players from other teams, um, obviously Juventus are first. Inter are probably in a close second. Yeah. And um, there he goes, one of Atalanta's top performers from the last Incredible play. Well, two seasons. But also for Germany. You know, Gos- yeah. Gosens has just walked into that team and staked his claim on Sprinted left back. Sprinted into it. Just left back. And it was for... He's more like left wing. He's like left wing and back. He, both. Well, yeah. Ger- well, with Germany, they did sort of 3-4-3. Three, three. Yeah. but And think about how perfectly that means he slots into Inter Milan Italian football. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect signing. You know? It's, yeah. Well, that's why he's so successful for Atlanta as yeah. well. So it makes sense. He's... Uh, when I first saw him playing, he was left mid. Um, and yeah, he's got. Oh, he's just left. He's, he's left side left. now. Yeah, he can just do the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. The, the, those are the best right backs, or left backs. Left back, yeah. Um, either way, side. Mm. It's if you can just say what position does he play? Left. Yeah, left. This is the whole side. Yeah. 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 That end. From mm. that end to that end by the touchline, him. Mm. And. That's good. That's so uh, great, move. unbelievably valuable to have in modern football. Great move for an already stacked team, you know. So, mm. and they have money to burn, so it might as well. And I'm sure I, I don't think it was very expensive either. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Do you know what it was? Oh, uh, not off the top of my head, but you know, un- not not even thirty mil probably. So yeah, yeah, brilliant, cheap. Like and if. If he were to have gone to the Premier League oh, a season tons. ago, it would have been 50 mil. Oh, I think it was even more. I think there were people trying and they wanted like 80. Yeah. Mm, so, yeah. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant transfer. He was um, really good in the Euros despite Germany not um, overly impressing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but he was one to watch and will remain one to watch. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Well, now I'll use this to transition. So two two players from the Italian league, Kulishevsky 
from Juventus and Bintan Kerr from Juventus. It was Juventus as well, yeah. Yep. They have both transferred out and somehow they ended up at fucking Spurs. At Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah. They I, saw a white kit and they were like, oh, all right then. Hopefully when Ash is back here, they would have played some games. He can talk about it. And hopefully they've been terrible so we can ridicule yeah. them. Because, man, before before Juventus signed Chiesa, it was Kulashevsky. It was like, holy shit, this guy's insane. Yeah, well, he was awesome. It's not like yeah. he was in bad form and Chiesa dislodged him because Kulashevsky couldn't keep his place. Yeah, yeah. Chiesa, Chiesa came is, in um... <laughs> and was ridiculous yeah, for yeah. club and country and they were like, well, we've, we've kind of got to drop you. Yeah, cause yeah. Because yeah, this so... guy's been too good. And, um, and now he's going to play for Spurs. Mm. That's a big move. Did... Um, sorry, I forgot. I just want to say it's the power of having Antonio Conte there. You know, well, that's, that's right. That's, that, that, that's why they got these guys. Um, yeah, I, t- I totally think so. You know, the, these um, these guys probably wouldn't have gone to a club like Spurs, playing in the yeah Europa shit house league, mm-hmm. um, and doing eh yeah in the Premier League if um. Nuno Espirito Santo was still the coach. Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. So, I'm pretty sure Kulishevsky is alone. Yeah, that's I, what I was going to ask. I'm not sure if there's an option to buy or not. Yeah. But I think Benton Kerr is. Uh... I think they're both loans. Yeah. And w- with most loans, there's... Unless there's a strictly no option to buy... Yeah. clause in it state then usually yes. then it, then there's yeah. you know the, the, they're on the loan list for a reason but it, but you know a player like Kulishevsky is only 21 ah uh, yeah early 20s yeah so maybe I don't know ben, could... Benton Kura isn't he's old got a, he's a few more yeah he's 20, mid 20s yeah but... 24, 25 yeah so who knows Kulishevsky could still stay at Juventus it could just be a loan because uh, well, they didn't sell any for. I sp- oh, I suppose. I mean, they sold. They've sold Deli Alley and and, and Indombele has gone now too. So that is kind of yeah. like replacing those two players and, in a way. And Dombele went back to Leon, also on loan. Um, yeah. And Deli, it, it's not. That's not permanent either. That's is it? a loan. Okay, we're, we're jumping ahead. Though. I'll, I'll talk. We'll talk about Everton next. Okay. Uh, so, but so, just yeah, what do you think about this anyway? What do you think about these two signings? Um. Well. Kulishevsky in particular. Mm. Um, Baller. Actually, no, both of them. Both, yeah, yeah. both, well, if, if, both in you terms of... you start by imagining your Spurs. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a fair point. <laughs> Amazing signing. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. <laughs> well, I didn't even think Ndombele needed to be bombed out, really, but obviously um, Conte doesn't... Probably doesn't like his attitude. Doesn't love it, yeah, yeah. fair enough, whatever. Well, but think about how much more stable a midfield with uh, Bintan Kerr and... The, their other guy what's his name yeah I'm blanking right now <laughs> that's a good po- yeah no defensive info you know he's awesome oh Hoiberg Hoiberg yeah Hoiberg and Ben Tancur that's so much better than yeah Harry Wanks and Oliver Scott yes <laughs> yeah but that's that's the thing those two guys are still in the picture yeah yeah well it's better than it's better than in Domelo yeah in terms of attitude maybe but in t- when he it's wants better, to better disciplined, when he wants to play, when he Conte wants to wants play, to and Don is awesome. Going forward, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. This is a Conte wants to play more defensive, and yeah, they both yeah. Ben Dunkirk is probably a bit more stability in that midfield. So it'd be good to hear from Ash what he thinks about it when he comes back. Yeah, I'm sure he's um. I'm sure he's. Sto- I'm pretty sure. I'm he, sure he's stoked. Well. He was saying that they needed like five centre backs, so <laughs> it's not quite not quite what he was after. Yeah, but, but that's how he plays FIFA. Yeah, he's yeah. like, oh, the centre back made one error in a game against <laughs> Arsenal, so I'm going Sub to I'm going to sell him. What are you doing? He's Sergio Ramos. I'm going to sell him anyway. Yeah. So the, they that's can, good. It looks good. That, for that's a real good start. If they can make those two permanent. Um, there's no reason they can't bomb and, bomb on from that. 
it does show that they be- well they're both loans so what do they have to lose you know yeah brilliant if they brilliant. go if brilliant. they go poorly then mm. fine then they don't they'll have to they'll just get Deli Ellie back <laughs> they'll just get Deli Ellie back great so yeah that's well that's how good that transition right there is Deli Ellie has made the move from Spurs to Everton so we're going to transfer to Everton yeah mm. And alongside Ali, they've also signed our boy Donny Van Der Beek. Our boy, what, former boy. He, he's been re- he's been set free. Yeah, yeah. That's he's on loan as well, though, isn't he? Yes, yeah, he's loan. Uh, but this is exactly the scenario where he goes on loan and does really well, <laughs> and then goes <laughs> and then back goes, to United, and, and they're goes, like, "Why didn't you play him? Let's give him a chance." And then he comes back and doesn't work. Comes back. Nothing. And either either doesn't play or yeah. is shit. So it, it wouldn't surprise me if he did good. He man, when he played for Ajax, he was a good player, man. He was he was a engine. He's everywhere. So that's cool. And I also have down here that they've signed uh, some d- defenders. I think yeah, uh, yeah. Michael Michaelinko and Patterson. Yeah, but uh, left back and right back respectively from. Um... Oh goodness! The first guy I think Dino he came. Kiev? Yeah, Kiev. And then Rangers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So a couple of youngsters to, um, mm. you know, fill some gaps going forward. Obviously, the uh, departure of Luka Dean. Mm. Left, well, uh, well, actually, sorry, I, I I skipped the the biggest transfer of all of them. That is Mr. Frank Lampard himself. Yeah, Flampard. I don't even think we talked. Fat, that hadn't happened. No, that hadn't happened yet. Yeah, Fat yeah, Frank. So, so that's it. Lampard. Lampard is in charge of Everton. That's the. Yeah, that evaded us entirely. Yeah. Um, you know, a whole bunch of people were uh questioned, as you might say. And um It just sort of happened, like out of, it was just like, Oh, it's done. <laughs> yeah. And then so they've just packed on, he's gone he's gone in there and been like, Yo, we need if you want to not get relegated, these are what things we need. And then let's get Dally Ali as well. <laughs> and yeah, well, yeah. That's again oh, I wish Ash was here, because that's 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 a big question. Because we can make fun think, of Dali Ali. Do you think? What do you think about that? Do you think Dali Ali will be successful? Well, that's that's another one, kind of like Ndombele, where when he shows up, he's a killer on his day. Dali Ali is a special player, but does he have the attitude? Has he has he packed it in? Does he need a new club to rejuvenate himself? Maybe or maybe he's lost his tool belt well that was Mourinho's criticism of him in that Spurs documentary he said like quote Dele Alley just doesn't give a fuck and <laughs> yeah so that but if that's true well then he'll obviously flop but do you think that for Ali and for Indombele it could be something to do with how much the team is structured around them uh yeah, I mean, that comes into the way every, you know, it, different players need that in different amounts. Um, so, say someone like Paul Pogba kind of needs, um, you know, he's he's not the hardest working of, of players. Why are you throwing shade? What's, I'm what's, not throwing what's, shade. What's I, I, I just picked Pogba, all right? Yeah, it's a bad choice. Fine. <laughs> Ibrahimovic. <laughs> What do you want? N- n- Ronaldo. Mm. I don't care. Just whatever. You just trying to start shit, bro. <laughs> I'll start shit. You want me to start shit? <laughs> you are. That's what I'm saying. Then do you have the facilities to end shit? No. I have my hands. <laughs> this is a podcast. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right, all right, all right. Some players right, need a calm team. Calm down. Hey, hey. I'm up on none of that. Um, Sorry, your original point. My original point was some players need a team built around them. and L- some Luxury players. And some don't. Mm. Um, yeah, luxury. Yeah, yeah. Um, having a player like Dali Alley at some, in, for some clubs, would mm. be a luxury. If he has ten workhorses around him, I don't know if Everton. It, yeah, it, it's Everton. It's yeah, about. Yeah. I mean, in the state they're in, maybe he. 
maybe. I don't know. I don't him know. and like also him and Tank Guy have played together. Mm. Um, I don't know if they've produced the goods together. Maybe they're both a bit um no. sloppy. Yeah. Um, but you know, Everton have Alan, they have um you know, a couple of other midfielders who can do some damage. And maybe they just need a bit more flair. So adding those two, um, is certainly adding that. Yeah, well I'm not sure where Dali Ali will play. It probably will be 10. You'd probably think uh, 10 ish. You know, Sigurdsson's. Uh, yep. So, uh, <laughs> it's probably 10. If not wing, maybe, but probably 10. Yeah, probably 10 ten- ish, so, 8 ish. Yeah. Just we'll wait and see, I guess. It's, uh, I don't have high yeah. hopes. So that's all I'm going to say. Look, that, that's mm. the best thing about the end of the transfer window. It's like, now all the pieces have moved. And until the end of the season, you just get to watch. Mm. You get to watch shit happen. Yeah. So, yeah, so we had Donny move as well from from Man United. Well, that's a full full midfield. Yeah, yeah, we have not. So we, the Man United did not sign any any players in this window. No, they only. But we did have a few, quite a few depart in the end. We've had. In various ways. Yeah, yeah. So we've had uh, Donny van der Beek, of course, has gone to Everton. Uh, Anthony Martial has transferred to Sevilla. On loan. On loan, yes. But uh, with there is a there is a buy clause, yeah, I think. So yeah. I think it's like a $35 million uh, yeah. op- option. And, well, we're also, we're also coincidentally down a winger. Yep. Because he went on loan to Rangers. <laughs> who who went who went out was so, it was that Diallo yeah yeah so uh which was probably a bit too hasty uh but so Armad Diallo is out on loan at uh Rangers Rangers as, as a matter of fact and I happened to watch his debut performance and it was spectacular he really? scored after four minutes <laughs> and just played amazing he he was he, uh, incredible you know I was I was saying this last week that he we haven't seen much from him this season and it uh, watching this, it's clear he just needed game, Some time. game time. He needed game time because he is a different player from the last time we saw him. He is a lot bigger. He is fa- really? he's faster, and he is confident. So, I think this loan could be extremely good for him. Yeah, I especially think, if he keeps up. I think as long as he that. as long as he gets the game time, mm. and I see no reason why he wouldn't. Yeah. Um. He, yeah. could, he could come back and, and replace Mason Greenwood, who has beaten up his girlfriend. <laughs> at, <laughs> Alleg- at a, allegedly. At a minimum. Allegedly. At a minimum. <laughs> yeah, so, well, that slot is certainly going to be open for a player like for, for Arma, Diallo Arma Diallo or our boy Shola Shuratera or yep. another up-and-comer. But or another academy player with a ridiculous name. Yeah. But this is the this is probably the big this was the big news of the week kind of was the Mason Greenwood has been completely dropped from Man United from He's everything no training no anything like that he's just completely written off and that's because a audio clip was uh, leaked for, from his his partner I'd probably say ex partner at this point uh, yeah it, I would say ex partner uh, which was him being very. Abu- uh, ver- at least verbally abusive yeah and what was very uh suggestive of um not take not taking no for an answer yeah we'll le- <laughs> leave it at leave it at that yeah. and, and, um... and and you know that is the accusation but to be fair we ha- uh we can wait you know anything could change there's these kind of things uh that it, it's definitely sportsmen are targeted for things like this, yeah. this can happen. I don't know if you are familiar with Drake, the rapper. Y- yes, I, I am aware Keen of... Keen sportsman, some, obviously. I, that's I'm my aware, transition. I'm aware of something that happened with Drake quite yes. recently, yes. So, you know, Drake, it's called sperm jacking. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when that's when these gold diggers, effectively, just they go out and try and get pregnant by athletes or rappers or celebrities, basically. And... Yeah, well, Drake got made the news because he, you know, he always he always wraps up like a true gentleman. Yeah, and rapper got to wrap it. And after he was done, he you know flicked it into the trash, or as you do, 
and you know she dived on it like a ravenous like wall a hand to grenade. fill up her pussy with his jizz and get pregnant. Not a not a sentence I mm. ever thought I'd hear on the football friend podcast. Well, that's why I waited for us to be twenty five minutes in. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's but, everyone stopped listening. But then Drake with his enormous brain thought it would be a brilliant idea to fill said uh, receptacle with chili sauce and when she filled her receptacle with it it stung <laughs> i imagine that the only thing i'd criticize him on is should he use alcohol should he use more <laughs> no because i don't know if chili sauce would kill sperm that's a i mean it's a good question you think it would it would do something, but you got to be sure. Maybe we should make it the title of the episode, and people will like Google it. Yeah, and then maybe they'll no, answer. He should have used isopropyl alcohol. Or Hand sa- He should have filled it with hand sanitizer. I'm, I'm sure, sure that, that would still that would sting as well. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, didn't expect to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. Is there there is. Things like that happen to athletes yep. all the time. Rich, and, rich people are can be the target of, um, you know. Well, it's blackmail in a way. Yeah, is what what it could be. But yeah, but to be the way the evidence looks now, is it looks like he's been a very naughty boy, and that's yeah, that, yeah. That it, that's the way it looks. But anything can change. I I, I I pray I pray that it's not true because this is a player with oh unbelievable potential. Like he. He's only twenty, and yeah, he's insane already. He his goal scoring is phenomenal for someone of his age. His compo- like, oh yeah. Um, if we if we're just keeping it in terms of a football conversation, yeah, this guy is a massive talent yeah. and a massive potential. Um, and if we're not talking about football, he's almost certainly a massive dickhead. Yeah. Oh, it's certainly. Well. Yeah, uh, it's hard. That's the thing is it's, uh, it is kind of, yeah, you, you should be thinking of alternate explanations for everything, yeah. doing your due, gil- due, due diligence and critical thinking. Yep. But it's quite hard to interpret that audio clip in a different way. In another way. You would, yeah. It would have to be something like crazy, like they're playing out some fantasy, role play, fantasy. Role play scenario. Yeah, so that just seems a little bit too good to be true. And there's a weird, weird, uh, phrase to use in that scenario but uh yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean it's it's i don't know yeah. it, it doesn't look good you you pray for his sake you pray for hers um uh, yeah that that it's that it's not true uh but like you say by the um sound of the audio clip it doesn't and it, and the reaction of the club and everything like that yeah is, it looks yeah he's been pulled down from all the advertising and all yep. of that sort of stuff and that's yeah that that so that would be his career his Pretty, career done. Oh, he is in the trash. Yeah. So yeah, and if it's true, I mean, good riddance. And we have Ahmed Diallo to come and score goals. <laughs> yeah, bring back bring and, back Martial and Anthony Alain. Yeah, well, so that's the that that's the thing. We got blindsided. No one expected the sudden Greenwood transfer, like to prison to <laughs> yeah prison FC <laughs> to um London Tower. No, what's the what what's the one <laughs> Towers of London? Yeah. Where that's, they, well, that's where they the, execute people. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's going to get that. Oh, well, you know, man can dream. Um, not good. So then, yeah, we've loaned our other winger, and now he is out of action. Oh, we loaned two of our wingers, sorry, uh, Martial and, and Diallo. So now we're we're only down to Rashford, Sancho, and newly promoted boy Alanga. Yep. To play. To play for the rest every, of the season. For the rest of the season, yeah. Yep. Uh, I've heard um, Hannibal Mejbury is pretty close to first team now. He should be played well, soon. He, well, he bloody will be. He has um, he has played left wing as well. Yeah, as ten, he's normally plays ten, but uh, maybe he could come in as a winger. But if not, we'll, I think we're looking a bit bit short. Unless we decide to play four two two two, because then we don't really need. Well, the the wide players can be kind of like it could be Bruno or. Yeah, it can be players like Bruno. So then we just he plays kind of as a winger, but not. And then, but I don't know. It, yeah, we will see. Mm. But I think you're right. And unfortunately for Manu, I think you, well, you guys might run out of the thing is players. Ten, ten seconds ago, everyone was complaining that the squad the squad was way too bloated and heaps of shit needed to go. 
And as soon as we do that, now we don't have enough. It's just classic, you know. So, so I'm just, you know, it is what it is. We'll see. We'll 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 see what happens. That, Are you sure. Oh, one last point on that though. It did come out today that we, the club, passed on three signings. They were offered three players. Do you know who? Yes. So it was Julian Alvarez, who oh. is the next one I'm about to talk about. He just transferred to Manchester City. We were offered it and we turned it down. River Plate, yeah. Yeah, River Plate. Okay. And then the next one was Dennis Zachariah, who transferred to Juventus. Interesting. And then the last one was um, Bubaka Kamara. Another striker? No, no, no. No, he's a def- he's a centre back slash oh. defensive midfielder from. I'm thinking of a different Kamara. Yeah. No, uh, he his French yeah French guy um, defender. Good player. Yeah, he's played like centre back and defensive midfield. Yeah. He, well, he was kind of available on free well, as well. But. Those last two, yeah, you, you've got to wonder why they passed up on those guys. It's because they didn't... It's, the reasoning they've said is because they did not have a permanent manager. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so wait, the signings passed up on Man U rather than the other way around? No, Man U passed up on the signings because oh. they have no manager. Oh. I know. It, it doesn't sound like... It's very weak... In my opinion, I, I don't care if you're the board and you see a good signing. You, it doesn't matter. Like I don't think a, a manager comes into a club with all the players there anyway. What's going to matter if you? Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, the, yeah. Like in that case, just make Rangnick permanent. <laughs> well, he's yeah. I, I don't think they. I don't think he wants it or they want it. Well, fine, but you want players, right? Well, we Sh- needed a midfield. It, didn't, Sh- it just didn't happen. Like, surely it? Rangnick is going to them like, well, I might not be a permanent manager, but you got. we need a midfielder. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah we exactly. Need, we need a player. Yeah, exactly. Well, well look at our transfer history. At the, the way it goes, we always get six months late what we need. No, six months to a year late what we need now. Yeah. So Jaden Sancho, uh, Bruno Fernandes, yeah. uh, all these guys, that all these transfers were delayed, delayed. And then, well, when we finally got it, it was awesome. And everyone was like, why the fuck didn't you do that earlier? Yeah. Big questions. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, leading, leading off of it, there's our transition there too, as Julian Alvarez, the, the striker did miss, transferred from River Plate. Manchester City to, have a striker. Yeah, to the opposite Manchester now. With The opposite. Well, mm. yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Now, I think he's not the... He's not completely green. He is... He's 23. He... Yeah. Not great, not green at all. Yeah, so he's played quite a few games, um, and been good for River Plate. So I think, uh, that's a good, that's a good signing. I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm a bit jealous. I, I think he looks like a good player. And he's a bit, bit of a big boy, isn't he? Am I right? Yeah, Am I thinking I, of him think or someone so. else. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't want to speak. I can't remember. I don't okay. know. Well, he's a footballer. I just remember thinking, seeing he's a, he's a complete player. He kind of does it at all. Complete player. Yeah. Complete forward. So. so you know, six months to a year, wing back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he'll play wing and well, no, oh wait, sorry, that's Gabriel Jesus' position. Um, yeah, so he'll play. <laughs> Gabby Jesus will play wing back. It'll be Gundogan nine because he's such false, a, such, false. such an amazing goal scorer. Yeah, false then... nine. <laughs> no, no forward. It'll be a four six. Mm-hmm. And um, Alvarez will be playing like. Left left wing. Yeah. Midfield. I don't know, anything. So it'll be interesting to see how Julian Alvarez goes. I, I have I have high hopes for this guy and unfortunately he plays for a team I despise. Uh so that sucks. Oh, but, don't worry about it. Uh, Just Well City are already top of the table and now they actually have a striker. Maybe that yeah. will now that they actually have a striker, maybe that'll like throw all the balance out and they'll just tumble <laughs> but I yeah. doubt I doubt um, that's yeah that's it's wishful thinking yeah maybe he'll score tons of own goals yeah 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 I hope so <laughs> so since we're on the Premier League run I might as well dive onto Liverpool signing hooray now we may we may have additional content soon we will we will watch uh, we will react to some Luis Diaz highlights in the future. Yeah. And uh, I have already seen some. Uh, Patty is still uh, with virgin eyes on this one. <laughs> and I am excited for you to see this because he looks like a hell of a player. And 
you know, we looked at this top 20 signings thing before, uh, top 20 signings in the January window, yeah. and he was number two, directly under Vlahovic. And yeah. I agree. You guys did pay a bit, but he is a think, good yeah. player. I think it was 37 mil. Oh, um, really? That's a lot less than I thought. That's that's actually so good. Did you have a different number I thought it down? was like 60 mil. No, no. I, no okay. I had 37 okay. written down, but that was pounds. Well, either way. E- oh, okay, yeah. So maybe... The, it, either way, he looks good. I... Uh, how do you feel about it? Well, um, the first thing that I have to say about it is when, um, well, we're still negotiating with Salah over his contract. And one of the things I heard about it, one of the um, top conditions, mm-hmm. if you will, to him signing a new contract was that we would sign a forward player, a, a very talented forward player to compete with the front three, another one. So obviously we've got Firmino, Mane, Mane, Salah himself, Jota, and Bob, then the Bobby. Uh, yeah, I said Firmino. Oh, sorry. And yeah. then the drop off is quite considerable from there because it goes to like Minamino and Origi, and then I don't think that's much of a drop off. <laughs> oh. I think when you're talking about your sixth forward, it's okay if it's Minamino. Okay. You know fine, what I'm saying? Fine. fine. <laughs> um, and then you got guys like Harvey Elliott, who's very, very talented, very promising. And, oh, look, he's never going to get a game there. And he? a complete child. And an actual child. Yeah. Well, he's also injured for the whole season, right? Uh, no, he's well, he's walking. He's training. Oh, okay. He's going to be training again very soon. Oh, I thought or, he, had, like, he for, did have a big injury. That, he had right? an injury, yes, but it wasn't, it wasn't like season ending. Oh. He's going to be training... In full training again soon. Okay, okay. But, but I mean, well, we, you had Luis Diaz in there, and then these two boys come back from Africa Cup of Nations. Well, yes. H- Harvey Elliott didn't play. Well, not, this, not for the rest of this season, no. But oh, I, no way. There's no way that he'll ever, he'll probably never surpass well, Yota, I, Diaz, any of these guys. Well, I, I think, um, you know, there's there's always rumours, man. But um, it, it I I, th- I think somebody might leave in August. Uh, obviously, like there's always rumours around. Every transfer window comes up. F- like, forget the main players. Origi and Minamino are always linked away. Hmm. Um, I think Minamino nearly left, but he said he wanted to play and fight for his plays. Fair enough, but he's. I think. I think he's like twenty seven now. Yeah. He's not. A, he's not young. Oh, but this is still the. This is probably the highest level of game he'll he's played. So it is. Um, and he's. I think he is still improving. He's a good. I, I think he's good. Well, yeah. If you have six forwards, he would probably play sometimes. But if you're yeah. number seven, you probably won't. Yeah. Yeah. So that's Arigi and Harvey. Arigi probably needs to go, and then. Elliot on loan or something. Yeah. 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 And then after that we'll we'll see. Um but yeah, I I actually have seen Luis Diaz because he came from Porto, am I correct? Oh he he played against Liverpool. He played again again, League. we've signed a player who played against yeah. us. Um and he was involved in the goal too. I want to say he was, yeah. I he, think he yeah. He I'm, um look. I'm pretty sure. Very threatening player. Yeah, it's not, I mean, he's an insanely good dribbler, man. He is, he is real good. The when I, I don't want to spoil too much, but uh, you know, I I described it to you as he kind of was like a Coutinho on Mane's body, because <laughs> he's also uh, an off balance king. Oh yeah, yeah. off balance king. Yeah, we yeah. need to bring that back. The yeah, OBK, yeah. OBK. Yeah, because you you watch him. Sometimes he's like. It's you think he's gonna like fall over, but and then actually, he scores. Well, yeah, well he's just he's sort of just dr- cuts the other way and dribbles and into it. I don't know. Yeah, it's off, like the, off balance. Case. It's like these footballers are really good athletes or something. Yeah, yeah. So now um, there was another signing for well a, attempted signing for you guys, right? This this guy from Fulham. Do you know? Uh yeah, Cavallo. Cavallo. Yeah, um, yeah. I forget his first name, so forgive me. Yeah, um, it was a young, brand new. I, I, yeah, child yeah. again, child, I, and I think another forward, yeah. sort of a striker winger kind of guy. Was it? Okay, yeah, or maybe like a winger ten kind of guy. Okay, yeah, um, but, we didn't get him, but I think the deal is that we will get him 
in August. Yeah, I, I did hear that. So I heard negotiations were carrying on because the originally the only way he was going to sign Liverpool anyway was if there was going to be a loan back for the rest of the season anyway. Yeah. And then I don't know something fell through. So then it, it's it's basically no different. So the, yeah, so, the same thing has happened as mm-hmm. far as like the watcher is yeah. concerned. Oh, but they get him on a free too. It's the end of his contract. But they have yeah, to they'll pay compens. It's called compensation. Compensation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah, it's like academy compensation, right? You pay the it's for the academy fee. Uh, yeah. If, uh, look, I'm not sure how it's worked out, it but basically, right. it's yeah. if they're too young to be signed on an actual free, which I think it's 23 years of age. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you pay the club yeah. compensation. Right. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, you're funnily enough, I one of the guys I know from work, uh, from from uni, he's he's Fulham fan. I just found out. He's, oh, really? He's born there. Yeah, I, I saw him on a meeting. He's wearing a Fulham shirt, and I was like, "Oh, mate, you play football?" <laughs> yeah, he's cool dude. Yeah, shout out, shout out to um. You got to remember his name. Fulham fans. No, I don't want to. I don't want to say his name. That's... Shout out to Fulham. It's just a general area. Yeah. Hey. Well, yeah. It, it, I don't know. Yeah. If you know who you are, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> if you know who you are. <laughs> I don't want to dox him. Who knows? Uh, so, I have one more uh, Premier League transfer written here. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Well, it's one a lot of people didn't expect because the man, you know, of course, nearly died on the football pitch. <gasps> it is Christian Eriksen. Wow. has signed to... The Bees. The Brentford Bees on a six-month six uh, con- contract. Thing. Loan from uh, no agent. Uh, <laughs> six-month... A uh, six-month thing. What do they call it? The 90-day trial period. <laughs> a six-month six trial, trial period. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased to see this. Look, I, I, I'm just glad. First of all, obviously glad he's alive. Um, Definitely. And if he can, you know, replicate what he was doing at, at Spurs and at Inter... Yeah, well, even close. He he's actually said that he feels like he is back to where he was. That's incredible. That would be insane to have that. Imagine having that player, your Brentford, and you just get this player for like for free, like <laughs> basically, and then <laughs> that'd be crazy. And so he, of course, cannot re-sign to Inter Milan because they have their weird rule where if you've had a heart condition, you can't play. Is that an Italian league? I believe so. Rule, yeah. I believe so. So yeah. Look, that's one that, obviously, aside from Diaz, mm. um, that I'll be watching very closely. Like, uh, that's a cool move. I would be 100% buying that one to watch, Car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would, mm-hmm. but um, that's fine. You know, a lot of love for Ericsson. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm excited. That's cool. Uh, great. Great to see. Hopefully, it works out. Hopefully, he can play again, because... He still has plenty of time. He's got a he has, he could salvage his career. This could just be a, a blip. Yeah, it could be. I mean, what is he? Twenty nine. Yeah, I think yeah. Player like him who played late thir- or mid thirties. Mm. Uh, he, he's a big brain, bro. It's all it's all brain. He's, yeah, and he's not exactly. It's not like he relied on pace. So yeah, exactly. So he could probably just play deeper. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Okie dokie. Mm. So well now. Oh, wait, no, I have one more Premier League team. I'm mistaken. Okay. We have not talked about the mighty, mighty Newcastle, <laughs> who are, well, who who have made four signings to battle their way out of relegation. Touch wood. The four I have here, we have uh, Kieran Trippier was the first. Yeah, already talked about him. Yep. Uh, Chris Wood. Already talked about him. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Thanks for adding that. Yep. That's <laughs> helpful. Got wood. <laughs> yeah. Uh they have also signed Matt Target from Ooh. Aston Villa yes. on a, on a loan, and the last one is a uh, Bruno Guimaraes. Guimaraes is, is how I would go about that. Bruno Guimaraes, a Brazilian player from Lyon, I believe. Oh uh, yeah. Well, yeah. the uh, Matt Target thing's funny because it's basically the the left back merry go round. Sure is. I mean, he's been he's been everywhere. Um. Well, yeah. Him. Him. Yes. Yeah. Um. But there's also you know, a guy coming f- to Everton, so Luca Dean can leave to Villa, so Matt Target can leave Villa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. True, true. Yeah. So, they, so they've got some new defenders. 
mm. and they've got an attacking midfielder and they've got a striker. No, I think it's like a playmaker. Um, yeah, well, playmaker, but, midfielder. But someone to run the show, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. A, he, he will. That's that's a good move. This, and he's a young guy, man. He's only 21. Yeah. And he's already been very good. He's Brazilian. You know, that's... That's, that's good. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's a positive bullet point. Yep, yep. So... Yeah. Do you think it's enough? Um, I want it to be enough. Well, last week we did see... Them win. Norwich, Newcastle. Well, they all won. Like, <laughs> except for Burnley, but... Yeah. They, don't, they never win. They so, always draw. Um, yeah. I think... No. Honestly, I think... I think they're going to get it relegated. It would be funny. I think they're going to get relegated. Mm. Yeah. But, yeah. but uh, you know, the... The bottom five teams are utter shit. So they could... Mm-hmm. That's Anything's possible, yeah. <laughs> Everton could still get relegated, you know? That would be amazing. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't want that to happen either. Mm. I like playing them. Yeah, yeah. All right, so okay. let's go so, abroad. So, yeah, now we're going to shift our focus to the country of Spain, where three Premier League players have transferred to... Barcelona. Mm, Tress. All, all three of them playing were Premier League to Barcelona. That's that's interesting. Normally yeah. it's the other way around, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Ferran Torres, of course, was first from yeah, it was early, Man, Man City. One early of the first in the owned, window. Yeah. Uh, Spanish player plays Barcelona. That's cool. And and then we had Adama Traore has returned to Barcelona because, of course, he was Academy. Yeah. I think that's on, I think that's on loan. Okay. Yep. Yeah. From from the wolves the hungry like the and i you know i spoke a lot of shit about traore last week so the other week one of the last week but so i don't know about that one but the last one which i have still not seen in kit but i believe is done yes is obamayang yeah uh pierre emmerich obamayang so we talk, we did talk about this last time that there is some kind of inner club conflict with obamayang and he well, he's up and gone. Yeah. So, it's permanent, isn't well, it? Well, well, they told him, like, you will not play for us. Well, they stripped captaincy too, right? Yeah. So it it's, was... It is permanent. He's he's done. Yeah. So he's moving for a fresh start. And, well, fresh start at 32. It, yeah, well. So, but it's, mate, you know, it's a different league. This can, these kind of things can happen. I think, oh, I mean, they got him alone. It's good stuff. Like Yeah. To, um, to jump away from Aubameyang for a second, uh, Barcelona five years ago had Messi, Suarez, Neymar, and now they're going to line up with, you know, Braithwaite and Adama Traore. Yeah. yeah. And and now they're they're just missing Brit Asombolonga to um recreate Middles Middlesbrough's front three from the same time they had the MSN. That's insane. Five yeah. So they should sign him on loan as well. Just to <laughs> just to recreate that. How old's he? Probably about thirty two, thirty three. Okay, yeah. And and not Barcelona quality. Mm. Well, yeah, but a lot of the players they're signing aren't. Like, Adama Traore is not Barcelona quality. That's why he left in the first place. Yeah. He's he's just kind of a um, paper tiger. He looks big and scary and whatever, and then he's doing He that. can't shoot. Yeah. Yeah. So, unless it's against Man City. So- <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, maybe they will play in the mini Champions League. Yeah. Fran Torres is the real deal, though. I don't, I don't doubt him at all. He's he's an amazing player. Yeah, uh, he probably that's probably a good move for him, man. Like a Spanish player. Spanish well, apparently player. he was just getting homesick. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He just didn't like living in England. It was like, bye. Yeah, well, fair enough. It's shitty. It rains all the time. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Spain's well, it rains all the time in Spain too, but <laughs> it's a bit yeah. muggy. <laughs> but it falls mainly on the plane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Torres Barcelona, that's cool. He'll probably do some damage. So. Front line, you know what are we saying? Like Aubameyang, Torres. Uh, they didn't. I didn't. Oh, I didn't actually see if as money as Dembele actually happened in the end at all. I'm actually again not sure, but I think he did leave. I'll get back to you on that one. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's let's stick with stick with what we got. Yeah. Well, oh, again, uh, same question. Then, do you think that is enough? Barcelona will get relegated. No, no. Do you? But do you think it's enough to do better? Because yeah, Xavi has been struggling i mean he, he's probably been better than he, he hasn't actually made the results much better not yet what 
but maybe by like five percent you know like yeah marginally yeah the 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 signs coming out you know the uh you know they're they're bringing back fines for unruly behavior on the training ground they're bringing back you know needing to be early needing to do this and that and um bringing back a sort of etiquette to Uh, barcelona i wonder if you know xavi returns and just kind of goes to them like what what the fuck have you done yeah what like how the fuck has this all changed since i left guys yeah it's been five years what happened yeah, so then, well, then that makes sense why they get him then, because they're like, well, we, we need that culture back. We need, we need that, we need to be back how we were five years ago. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Resign Neymar, and Suarez, and Messi, <laughs> and Sammy Lasso. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, we're we done on signings. I think so. Well, <laughs> I, I guess so. Yeah. Then, well, you didn't really answer the question. Do you think it's enough? They'll, uh, again, marginally. They'll finish in the Champions League. <laughs> How about that? It's it's not, from a Barcelona standpoint, if you're a Barcelona fan, that's not really what you want to... Well, do you think those are an upgrade on Memphis Depay and the other Dutch striker? Luke De Jong. Luke De Jong. It's, it's an upgrade on Luke De Jong. It's an upgrade yeah. on Luke De Jong. But, Depay will play. Yeah, I heard he's... I heard he... Um, he can't. He's not playing now because he lost. Fit, he lost his fitness. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. That's a bit weird. <laughs> Look, yeah. it's all going wrong, isn't it? Did they make a deal with the devil? Oh, probably. Yeah. To sign Messi for that long, like you know. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Mm. That's that's it coming home. That's the deal coming home to um to roost, so to speak. Is that how it works? Uh. Yeah. Barcelona's little devil deal. Why not? Why not? All right. All right. Well, so there has not been much domestic <laughs> club football, yeah, no. lately. So the the only match that we have managed to catch that is a nice nice, nice phrase, phrase I like, yeah, is the semi final of the Africa Cup of Nations. Yes, yeah. well, Burk- Burkina Faso won Senegal three. And. What looked like to be a thrilling match. What a from, game! Yeah, like th- these guys. Well, th- they just kill each other. <laughs> well, it's like tribal oh, warfare. Wow. Um. Honestly, even if you just told me, show me the the highlights of the the VAR decisions, I'd be like, this is amazing. Some of the best refing I've seen in ages. Yeah. yeah. The decisions that were the one where the the goalkeeper comes out and punches a player in the face. That's what you, <laughs> that's what it looked like to me. And then you watch this highlight and the goalkeeper like it punches the ball perfectly timed. And just the guy headers him in the arm. Yeah, yeah. And it's like what? And then the ref sees it and he's like, and he's like, oh, oh that's no, that's not a penalty. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Yeah, I was like, I in England, it would take fifteen minutes and they'd get it wrong. They'd still be like, nah, we'll just leave it how it was. They'd give them two penalties yeah. <laughs> and send both players off. <laughs> For some reason, it just doesn't seem to work in England. I don't know what it is. Yeah, VAR has corruption. Been, I don't well, know. Think about how how well VAR was used in the Euros. It was amazing. Pretty pretty well. It was brilliant. It was like the perfect the perfect use of it. And <laughs> just can't get it right. Well, it's definitely been better this season. When I, I think agree. About it. When I think about it now, it's been I better. agree. Yeah, but but it it's getting better. It was terrible last season. Oh yeah, yeah. The the whole thicker the thicker line thing that they do now for offside is so much. Better. It's an absolute tonic. That was good. Just a tiny little change. That's see. That's the reality of what it is, right? For VAR to work, it's probably just it's just finding these bugs, these little tiny little changes that need to be made, yeah. and then it'll be good. The five percent. Yeah, because they nailed it in that match. There was there was well, people could have died. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was intense. There was we, all that yeah, match was crazy. What was the other one? Um, oh, well, they're God. all just running into each other, like yeah. freight trains. It's like they pounding in. It's like they'd seen football played, but never played it themselves, and they're just like, "Let's go have fun." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, one guy who we hadn't seen before, but caught her eye. Uh, I think his name was just Cease. Mm. Set Sed- it Sed- Sedio Saliu Cease, mm-hmm. uh, left back for Senegal. I thought it was Mane. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was moving, man. He he had, he had good. Pace, good body movement, dribbling, yeah. Mm. yeah, a couple of step overs, mm. shooting technique, left back. Yeah, well, he was in the box. 32-year-old like. <laughs> left back. Yeah, yeah. 
Look at dangerous airs. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it, well, he was wonderful. And of course, um, so the route, the result was a win for Senegal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So Mane and his boys are in the final. Mane uh, starred, probably, you'd say, um, yeah, sure. setting up the winning goal and then scoring himself five minutes um, five minutes from the end mm-hmm. with a, a beautiful chip. Yes, yeah. What, if, dude. Mm-hmm, very good. Very classy. And if I'm right, didn't they, uh, didn't, didn't Liverpool ask him not to play that game or something like that? They were like, well, he he suffered it, it suffered some sort of knock in um, the previous game, and okay. Liverpool were like, "Be careful, you, just be careful." Hey, be careful with our Ferrari. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, eighteen year old driver on his, on his yeah, yeah. first week get of your, having his get license. Get your fucking Toyota Corolla away from my Ferrari, <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Don't even park on the same street. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so Mane was there running things. Mm. Um, yeah, what a what a game back and forward. The Burkina Faso, they the, were up for it, but they didn't. They didn't. Th- they didn't care. They didn't give up. They, they were just d- like, no, nah, fuck you. We're gonna go hunting. Yeah, they were yeah, amazing. They're loving it. Yeah, and of course, um, that leaves the other semi final tomorrow morning. Mm. Cameroon, Egypt, big, like titans. Yes. Which which could set up uh, a Salah versus Mane yeah. final. Yeah. And then they come back and they'll probably just and so have, a, have a little be, kiss. There'll be some 50-50 challenge. They both dive in too recklessly and injure each other for the whole season. <sighs> there is... And then both <laughs> A lose. man can dream. Yeah, yeah. like... <laughs> there is nothing worse than that you could suggest that I would... That I would hate more. What about... What about Pino shootout? And Mane, like Mane misses and Salah scores the winner or something, you know. Like. That's fine, because they don't get injured. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, uh, even there. That would be quite heartbreaking to watch. But do you not think it could cause, well, not like tension, but like uh, it could cause a mind uh, mindset problem? Uh, um, Maybe, but I, you know, these, these guys know, right, that they're, they're teammates and mm. then they go away and then they're not teammates. You know, yeah. like it happens in Europe all the time. Yeah, the, 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 there's no reason that these guys can't behave civilly with each other just because they're from a different continent. Yeah, or, may, or maybe they're looking at this Luis Diaz signing, going, "I hope you do get fucking injured, gun, because yeah. then I want to play." <laughs> yeah, I want, I want to play, and I want to play with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that would be crazy if that's the final, and then. Then you'd actually have them back. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, and, and, and like literally said, both of them make it to like the last game. The last like. game. And I, th- I think we'll have them back for Leicester City. I think it's on the uh, 10th or 11th of Feb. Um, not if they play, not if they play extra time and all sorts. Well, they'll, they'll, be, ti- yeah, rest, they'll yeah. be tired. They probably will need a rest after, after that. I, I, I still think Salah would come back and just demand to play. And yeah, he'd probably yeah. start. And then be subbed off. True. For Luis Diaz. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, I think we have covered all of the main topics um, for this week of the Football Friends podcast. Yes, we have. <laughs> Unless uh, there's anything else you want to add, any any closing thoughts or... Um, if I may have 30 seconds. Uh, a couple of, I'd say a few months ago... Uh, uh, my pal asked me if we'd mentioned Scunthorpe United. Great. Yes. Um, so I decided just before to um, have a look how they're doing. Uh, Scunthorpe update. The, the, the scup date, yeah. if you will. Yeah. Uh, they're absolute dead bottom of League Two. Three wins all season. Lost their last five games. So I'm um, really, oh. really shit. Well, that's not good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, James. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What, is that how you want to end it? Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. You forgot to say like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> like and subscribe to the Football Friends podcast. We'll uh, join you next week, hopefully with Ash back. And yeah. All right. Take it easy. Scumthorpe will still be shit. Bye.